So I was hired February uh, 2018. I was told that there was going to be a heavy truck program started in the Fresno area. I had Mr. Ward and uh, the principal fly out to Arizona and interview me out there. I was currently working for the city of Glendale. I had had some previous teaching experience at UTI about six months prior to that. When I started working for the city, I started to realize that I really had a passion for teaching. And um, when I saw this opportunity at the high school level, I really thought it'd be interesting to be at the ground level and kind of build out a program. I work closely with George Aarons from ASC. Um, I basically followed all of their parameters for their truck service technology, all the um, tasks that they need to be done in order to seek and obtain that accreditation. And I built out my, pro my program based on that. I want to try to have as many stations as I, as I can have so the whole class is accommodated, so everybody has hands-on time all at once doing the same thing while still meeting those objectives of the ASC standards. Uh, then I worked with Sean Bennett. Um, I actually uh, helped him um, review his truck engines and fuel systems book. Um, and that's also a textbook that I use at UTI. So with that book, with ASC's guidance, and with local industry partners, I asked them, what are the kind of skills that an entry level technician should have to be employed by you straight out of high school? Um, so a lot of it's exhaust after treatment systems, uh, truck PMs, you know, pre-delivery inspections and things like that. So uh, I don't have to adhere for Title IV funding. You know, I, I still have to uh, adhere by the CTE standards, you know, for the state and everything. But uh, I have more opportunity to have more hands-on time and more repetition in my shop than I think most post-secondary schools have. You know, I don't think any other high school in the country has a facility that we have and the resources that we have and the opportunities for employment that we have right here in the local area. We have uh, almost $1.5 million worth of equipment just in the shop itself. I think the district has really seen the benefit of having a facility like this. These kids are ready for it. Even though they're 16 years old, they're highly motivated. Once they see hope after graduation in the form of a job, you know, I have their full buy-in and their full attention. So I think it promotes itself with the student experiences as they uh, gain knowledge and get excited about the program. I have my seniors talk to my juniors about everything that they're doing. Uh, I have the juniors talking to the sophomores. I'm also starting to bring the freshmen and the sophomores into the shop, just even if they're changing a tire, just looking at the trucks to get them interested. And then they're just going to self-promote themselves. Um, I think we're going to run into a situation where uh, you know, we might have to hire another instructor and do classes side by side because I think the demand of both the student side and the employer side, we're just not going to be able to meet it. You know, uh, I'm graduating seven seniors this year. It's just going to be a, a drop in the bucket in the local industry. So I have pretty much 10 stations for everything with three students working as a team to complete all of their hands-on activities. Um, so at most, 60 right now, 30 juniors and 30 seniors. That's what I feel comfortable with. There's only one of me, and uh, I know safety is one of my main concerns in the shop. And I also want to make sure that the kids are getting the information. Um, I've also structured my shop around that number as well. What I hope to happen is uh, this become almost like a football team, and we have other schools, and we have scrimmages, and we have, you know, we get the kids really excited, you know, about being a heavy truck student. Once you have things like that, you get very good at doing something. So giving these kids hope, you know, they're all. Uh, I, I think the majority of them didn't know what they were going to do after high school and now that they have, you know, uh, they found something that they have a passion for that they're really excited about it.